Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today we're going to talk about iPhone 4.0, the new update that is not out yet, but it's coming soon. Uh, soon we're going to see a lot of different features that were covered today, and I thought we'd take a look at that. So uh, first thing off, unfortunately no iPhone 4.0 right now, but you're going to have to wait until the summer to get that. And that's, uh, that's a bad thing, but uh, it's good. It gives developers time to go and check that out. Now for developers, they can have a preview today downloadable. So if you have a developer account, you can check out all these features. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first thing. First thing is huge. We've been waiting for it forever, and it's multitasking. So um, multitasking allow you to have multiple apps at once. So uh, really, really cool feature. So here's a little bit of a preview. You can see there's Facebook and things running within that. And to bring up that screen, what you do is you double tap the, uh, the iPhone home button, and that will bring up the screen. Now it's going to be available for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. iPad comes out in the fall, so it's a little bit later, unfortunately, but uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing, giving developers time, like I said. So um, that's, that's going to be coming out. Um, and uh, unfortunately multitasking will not work on I believe it's the iPhone 3G and the I or iPod Touch second generation and before so uh, apparently their hardware is not capable of doing this uh, well so one thing they announced was Skype with multitasking so this is huge because now you can have voice over IP uh, running in the background you can get your calls in uh, receive them and then uh, you know make a phone call via that not using your minutes wonder if something's up with um, AT&T and that sort of thing uh, maybe they're not they're not being as uh, difficult about things because their contracts just about up but we'll see uh, next thing they showed uh, was privacy they take Apple apparently is taking privacy very seriously and uh, what we have is in that box there's little check marks and if something location-based has grabbed or looked for your information in the past 24 hours um, it will let you know so something just a nice little addition another huge huge addition uh, is folders. Folders is something that people have wanted for a long time. It's been available in the jailbroken versions of the iPhone. You can put things in folders. You can simply click and drag them into folders like games. So uh, here you see games up in the corner here. Uh, you're looking at games. Uh, you can drag and drop things into that and that's really really nice. Let me show you a different example. So here's a, one of the folders open you can drag into there. And if you haven't noticed, in the background there's a different uh, screensaver or, or desktop rather, uh, where you can change your screen locked desktop from the desktop of the, uh, of the background, your normal background. So here they have like a bubble theme going on, that sort of thing. Um, Another huge thing, it's like they're giving everything uh, everybody's asked for, which is really nice, but another huge thing is mail. Now you can have multiple inboxes all in one inbox. So before you couldn't do that, you'd have to go into a bunch of different inboxes, that sort of, sort of thing. It was kind of annoying, um, but now you can have them in one inbox. So that's a really nice feature. Of course, this isn't a surprise, they added iBooks. So before I keep going, there were seven different things that Apple covered here and um, they, they wanted to make a point of. So this is, uh, I don't know what number we're on, but uh, iBooks is one of them. It will sync with your other iBooks. Uh, it, will, it will connect right up and, and you start Winnie the Pooh that comes with it for free. On your iPad, you're 50 pages in. You sync up, now you're 50 pages in on the iPhone. I don't know if it's over, uh, over the air, but that would be nice, kind of like the Kindle. Uh, we'll, but that's, that's a nice little feature. Uh, they made some enterprise improvements. Uh, for those in enterprise, more secure, things like that. Um, I'm not going to go too, too in-depth on that, just because most of the people here uh, don't use those features, at least that view uh, this video. If you want to look more at that, I mean, you can see the features there. Just not, I just want to kind of skip over this and uh, jump to one that I think is huge anyway, is Game Center. Now, Game Center is basically uh, like Xbox Live. They compared themselves to PSP and DS in the amount of games they have, which is huge, huge compared to those platforms. 
and what it does is it allows for uh, game matching and and uh, you to find your friends and invite them to games multiplayer and that sort of thing so that's a huge announcement it also allows for achievements like an Xbox or trophies like a PS3 that sort of thing so that's gonna be huge and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun once they come out with some games that are fun to play over uh, over network that'll be a lot of uh, a good time uh, something that was more expected was I add iAd is simply that. It is an advertising uh, platform. It allows for HTML5 based advertising within apps and uh, you don't leave your apps when they're when you're within the app. It, it uh, jumps to the ad, um, you go through the ad, you want to exit, you're back at your app. Just like the multitasking, I would imagine they're using some of that. So uh, that's pretty neat. Um, and uh, again, the SDK is today for, for those who uh, who have a developer account so you're going to want to check that out all the multitasking um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to check it out or not but if I can uh, I certainly will do that although I'm not sure if I'm allowed to uh, show that yet so I'm not sure we'll be doing that otherwise huge announcement today obviously uh, really nice features multitasking a long way coming uh, a couple notes is they said the battery life is is uh, is not a problem and that they took a long time trying to figure that out and uh, really happy to hear that they're they're including that for once uh, finally after all this time and the folders to have a hundred apps on the uh, iPhone is just such a pain uh, you've got all these pages you got to swipe through over and over to get to your to your app and it's really nice to see that uh, you have you know have a way to organize those into games applications utilities whatever you want you know so that'll be really nice to see uh, otherwise uh, really nice update again um, the uh, not available to 2010 for us regular users in the final development um, that's that's pretty much it iPad in the fall if you want to check it out in your developer you can do that today this is Aaron with Zolotech we'll see you next time